Insight and inspiration, seeing that it is Black History Month, what inspires you to be as successful as you've become? I, well, it's very nice. You know, I, you know, sometimes you look at yourself and, and I, I mean, I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't necessarily say I've been successful. Um, um, I think I've done a, a, a decent job in, in this business. Uh, I feel blessed, I feel fortunate, I feel lucky to be around the types of players and coaches and organizations that I've been with. But uh, at, at the end of the day, you know, when you reach a certain level, um, the thing that inspires me is, is trying to see the next generation come up. And, um, it, you know, I'm gonna call him out a little bit and he may hear this and, and be a little embarrassed, but a guy like J.D. Bickerstaff, when I first started in the league in Denver, I used to babysit him. He was in middle school. I used to go to his middle school games and stuff like that. And to, to see him on TV and coaching the Cleveland Cavaliers as their head coach and to see uh, how great he's doing, it just blows my mind. And that fills me uh, with, a lot, with a lot of joy. Having said that, you know, you look at the ones that have gone before me and the paths that they've carved for a guy like myself to have an opportunity you just don't want to let those guys down because they went through a lot more than what I went through to get to where I am right now. So a lot of different inspirations um, <clears throat> for me in, in different angles, but people before me and even people after me that, that get me excited and, and keep me going in this thing. Thank like you. Uh, you